Uh, there was basically two phases. One was the full-on construction phase, where not only were they redecking the bridge and doing major construction on the bridge, but also the ramps. The first phase is over with, so the on and off ramps, for the most part, are done. And some of them are even usable right now. Um, the second phase, which is primarily the, the bridge, is still ongoing. And uh, that'll go un up until the end of October. Generally, bridges, after around 50 or so years, they deteriorate over time, the weather and everything else. So it was in the capital improvements plan of the state of Minnesota to redact the bridge to ensure that it's safe. So some of the improvements to the bridge we found out were new turning lanes, you're pouring new concrete, and what other improvements do you have? Yeah, we took the deck off. We added a girder line, so we had 10 feet wider roughly, uh, added two turn lanes, added wider sidewalks. Um, you know, really it just helps with the pedestrian flow, traffic flow, pedestrian flow, make it safer for everybody. And then the longevity of the bridge in general will be longer. Because it's a state roadway um, and, and county too, because it's County Road 101, they're completely in charge of the funding. So typically they get their funds through property taxes, both of them, and the state gets money through sales taxes. Those are the, the, the areas that they get money. So they allocate their money and plan for improvements all over the state and all over the county. And this project was on their plan for several years uh, so they could allocate funds for that purpose. And uh, we've seen an increase in traffic in some of our residential areas, uh, neighborhoods, some people trying to go take shortcuts, which is to be expected, but we've taken measures to make sure that they're not speeding through. So stepped up uh, police patrol uh, sign saying that this is just uh, local traffic only. Yeah, I know it's a tough one. I understand it impacts people's lives on a daily basis, um, you know, uh, but once it's done, uh, people will be happy with the product. You know, you'll get a, you'll get a uh, comment here and there when people drive by, mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, it's been, usually that happens right away when you change traffic or something in that situation, then after that, when people are used to it, it it doesn't affect them much or they don't at least they don't say much to us yeah i would just remind everybody that um why is that is still open for business it's not not that difficult to get here we've got a lot of great things going on where it's worth it and if you want up-to-date information about whatever is going on go to navigate com, and it's got you know all the information there it's clear it's easy to ascertain and it's it's updated as well so um we're almost done. Uh, end of October, the bridge will be done, and uh, this will be long into the future. But until then, uh, um, please still come and go to navigatewisedata.com to get information. Generally speaking, uh, since the, 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 the ramps to and fro Minneapolis are open, if you don't have to cross the bridge, uh, meaning you're not trying to go north and south through Wyzetta, um, you're, you're, you're gonna be less impacted. But if you are trying to go um, north and south through Wyzetta, the best way is to use the um, um, main corridors that are east of the city, so Gleason Lake Road and Wyzetta Boulevard. They all uh, intersect with Highway 12. So you can get off early at Highway 12 and uh, utilize either north northbound uh, Gleason Lake to Vicksburg and then back on uh, Highway 101 or County Road 101 or to go south, you can take Wyzetta Boulevard down to 101, uh, down to Lunds, Byerly's, that area, and get to where you need to go.